everybody welcome back hope you are doing good in this video we are going to discuss important questions from the chapter tuple hope you are familiar with the basic concepts of tuple if not let's take a small tour tuple is just like list it provides mixed data type separated by comma but what's the difference the elements are enclosed in a round brackets and here is the most important difference and the most important property of the tuple tuple is immutable we cannot change the content of the tuple in place let's go through this topic also of creating tuple you can create tuple by enclosing the elements in a round brackets which are separated by comma you can create empty tuple with empty round brackets but note down here this is very important to know that how to create a single element tuple if you are creating single element tuple you should write that element followed by comma if you will not mention that comma and if you write like this the python will consider this as a integer not as a tuple and there is one more method named tuple to create tuple from another sequence so here are the different ways to create tuple now how to access the individual elements of the tuple it is just like list and string you will be using index all right let's discuss the different operations that we can perform on the tuple as tuple is immutable type we cannot perform many operations like add append delete the individual element as well as modify and update modification and updation is not possible but we can traverse the tuple just like list even we can join the two tuples with the use of concatenation operator replication operator also works on the tuple the concept of slicing follows the same approach as list and string here is one new concept related to tuple that is unpacking when we create tuple from a set of values it is called as packing but the reverse of it is called as unpacking in unpacking we create the individual values from the tuple we know that we cannot modify the individual elements of the tuple but we can delete the whole tuple using the del statement and here is the list of the functions and methods associated with tuple you will think why there is so less and the answer is obvious we cannot perform many operations on the tuple that's why there are limited functions and methods associated with tuple hope you are familiar with the nested tuple it is just like nested list we follow the same approach to access the individual elements of the nested list using multi dimension just as list all right after knowing the basic concepts of tuple it's time to discuss some of the important questions based on it so here is the first question we need to identify the error in the following code in the first statement one tuple got created but look at the second statement we are accessing the first element of the tuple and by assignment we are trying to change it but we know that tuple is immutable we cannot do this that's why we will be getting this error tuple object does not support item assignment now let's proceed to the second one if you know the answer pause the video and try it yourself look at this tuple creation is this correct no this is wrong whenever we want to create a tuple with the single element the comma is must as we did not mention here comma python will consider it as a integer value so first is integer second is tuple when we will try to concatenate it using concatenation operator you will get error here whenever we use concatenation operator to combine or to concatenate both should have the same data type but here t1 is integer and t2 is tuple so you will get this error unsupported operand types the first operand is integer and the second is tuple that's why this exception will get fired name type error okay now let's proceed to the next question we need to find out the output of the following code in the first statement we are creating empty tuple in the second statement we are concatenating empty tuple with single element tuple we don't have any method to add element to the tuple but we can concatenate two tuples like this and we can add the element to the empty tuple this statement is perfectly fine in the next statement we are printing the tuple so the tuple element is nothing but one word named python so here is the output of the first print statement in the next print statement we are calculating the length of it and we are familiar with the function of the length function it counts the number of elements in the tuple as well as in the list and in this tuple there is only one element so the output will be one moving ahead to the next statement we are creating one more tuple with three elements and printing the length of t1 
there are total three elements that's why the output will be three so here is the final output of the following code hope you understood this explanation now let's move ahead to the next question in this question also we need to find out the output of the code this question is based on unpacking look at the first statement we are creating one tuple with three elements and in this next statement we are trying to unpack it in this way the elements of the tuple will separate out first element of the tuple will get stored in the first variable in the same way second element will get stored in the second variable and third element will get stored in the third variable when we will print this y then we will get the second element and the second element is nothing but mango in this way we got the output of this code note down this important point of unpacking the number of variables in the left hand side of the assignment must match the number of elements in the tuple in case of tuple you may get same type of questions which we have discussed in case of list so i would suggest you to go through this video the questions which will be based on slicing or accessing the individual elements and even traversing will be similar to list All right then let's discuss the next question we need to write a statement to create a tuple containing first five even numbers we know how to create tuple let's give some meaningful name to the tuple tuple of even numbers we need to enclose tuple elements in the round brackets first even numbers we need to add so it will be 2 4 6 8 and 10 enclose it in a round bracket separated by comma Look at the next question. Same question we have already discussed when we were discussing important questions from the chapter list manipulation. Now it's your turn to tell me the answer of this. Hope you got the answer. When we apply max and min function on the string, the characters are compared based on their ASCII value. First character is same. The comparison will be on the second character. Based on that, this string will be the maximum from the tuple. in the same way minimum will be the string let's discuss one more question which is based on the nested tuple all right before we start solving the question let's write the index first this element is at the zeroth index this whole list will be at the first index this is the second index the next element is a nested tuple which has index 3 here is the string with index 4 and the last element is at index 5 All right come to the next statement here with the assignment statement we are trying to change the individual elements but remember one point this we can do in a nested tuple only if that nested element is mutable type look at this nested element it is a list and list is mutable so we can change the content of the list in place but in case of immutable nested element we cannot change it Now tell me with these two indices which nested element we are trying to access at the first index we have nothing but list and here are the indices of the individual elements of the list with one one index we are trying to access 11 and using assignment statement we are trying to modify so instead of 11 100 will get stored hope you understood this explanation now let's proceed to the next statement here we could see there is a slicing In the first part we have negative indexing so let's write the negative indices here is minus 1 here is minus 2 now look at the second part using concatenation we are concatenating it in the first slicing the starting index is minus 2 and the ending index is skip it means starting with this element will go up to end of the tuple ultimately these two elements are getting sliced All right let's work out on the next slicing portion this is the starting index and here is the ending index ending index is exclusive it means ending index is also 1 starting index is 1 and the ending index is 1 it means what we are accessing the element which is at the index 1 it is nothing but a whole list you got the output right here is the output here is the portion with the first slicing and here is the portion with the second slicing part with this statement the element of the list got replaced in place because it was mutable this is possible in case of nested element if you are clear with the basic concept you can solve any questions on the tuple there will be limited questions on the tuple in your exam 
more questions will be covered on the data type string list as well as on dictionary all right here is one theory question how can you create a tuple with the single element we have already discussed that if you are creating a tuple with the single element don't forget to add this comma in this way you will be writing the answer first define it syntax and one example you must add a trailing comma after the element here is the syntax and here is one simple example you can give any example of your choice all right here is also one more important theory question differentiate between tuple and list if you will get this question for two marks try to write four differences you can write answer in this way tuple is immutable whereas list is mutable we create tuple by enclosing the elements in a round bracket whereas in case of list we use square bracket tuple is immutable means we cannot modify the elements mutable means we can modify the elements and here is a simple example of creating tuple and list all right with this questions on tuple we are going to wrap up this video in case of any doubt let me know in the comments below in the next video we will try to practice some programs on tuple so until next time stay curious stay healthy i will see you in the next video